Uh, the best way to explain crystal wave is to draw a comparison with um, searches via the web. So imagine on the web you can use your favorite uh, search engine of choice and you can type in the search field generally what it is you know you're looking for. But you don't necessarily have to have all the words right or in the right order and sometimes you might have extra words in what you type. But somehow that search engine is still able to offer you almost exactly what you're looking for as the top choice or the top couple of choices. So somehow there's some logic behind the scenes where it can ignore the words it doesn't need, prioritize the words that really are critical, and crawl through all the potential websites that might be matches and find what you're really looking for. Crystal Wave is that same sort of technique but speech driven. So when, it asks, when we ask a question of a caller and we, ex we know that the answer to that question might have a huge potential set of um, matches, just like a web search might, Crystal Wave tries to determine, by, by activating various techniques under the hood, it tries to link what you say to a potential match by prioritizing the words that are critical for the search, um, getting rid of those words that are maybe just noise or filler, and sending that search in different permutations of order, word by word, so that it can try to determine what's the best match for what you asked for. So with Crystal Wave, we're seeing that um, you can get about 10% improvement in overall accuracy by using the techniques that Crystal Wave uses over just a static grammar of, let's say, 30,000 entries. Oh, um, and you're trying to link a caller response to one of those items. Crystal Wave can be as much as 10% more accurate.